Hi, I'm John Morgan, and I am here at KBiz with 2020. Did I get that right, guys? Yeah. We're good. All right, all right. And I am really proud to be standing here right now with, it's actually my honor, an award winner, Kaylee Helgit, with R. Henry Construction in Minnesota. Yay! Um, she is, go ahead, cheer her one more time. Come on, one more time. Go on, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Kaylee is one of our award winners from the Inspiration Design Awards that we held in the fall. We've been using her design here at KBiz because it's so awesome. So I'd like to introduce you to Kaylee. And Kaylee, could you tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I'm with Art Under Construction. It's actually in the Mankato Design Center. Um, we do custom homes, remodeling for commercial and residential. So I do anything from floor plans to kitchen cabinets, bathroom cabinets, 3D renderings. Um, it's actually a long list of things, but it keeps everyday fun. So. Cool. Sounds like a pretty big firm. I think you said you had about 20 people working there or something? Yeah, I would say 15 to 20, and we also work closely with the design element and our other... Oh, yeah, design element! <laughs> <laughs> our other companies who are with us in the Mankato Design Center, so... Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Now, I understand um, that you're fairly new in the business. You're actually two years into your career, is that correct? Yeah, just about two years. All right, so that's pretty impressive, two years, and you're already an award winner. Yeah. How's everybody treating you around the office? Are you royalty now at oh, the yeah. office? Yes. We love did, did they give you a raise? Any raises for this? No, not yet. Not, no, not yet? No. Oh. I said you're here. It's, it's coming. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, all right, all right. Did they change the title? No. It's, oh, in some no. businesses, you get a different title instead of a raise. Not yet. So I wasn't sure. All right, all right, awesome, awesome. So, so um, you're you're just you're new in your career, just starting off. Um, yeah. What did you? You said you went to school for design. <laughs> this is her design. Yes, it is. All right, there it is. Yeah. Um, you went to school for design in Minnesota. Yeah. Did you actually study kitchen design or just a general interior design? It was just design? a general interior design. Um, we had classes for kitchen and bath, uh -huh. commercial classes, residential classes. So okay. we pretty much covered on everything. And I understand from an NKBA perspective that um, your school became accredited? Yes. Yep. And I believe they valued your work so much they actually submitted your work to achieve the accreditation. Is that correct? Yes. Tell yes, what, it is. And, and what, <laughs> you're, it's okay to be. Yeah. We can, we can celebrate here. You okay. have to be humble okay. here. Yeah. So, um, uh, what did you do for that? Was it a bath kitchen? What um, was it? it was a bathroom for the NKBA competition. Uh, and then we just had to submit the construction documents, electrical plans, floor plans, everything like right. that. Um, right. So, um, I think when we were talking on the phone the other day, we got to meet on the phone a, few, a week or so ago. Um, you're saying that the job you submitted is a real job and it's actually in construction now, is that right? Yes, yes it is. Well, yes, it's in construction. Cabinets have just been ordered. Okay. It's been a year working on that kitchen, okay. so it's a big step. It's really exciting. Right. Well, tell me a little bit about the job. Um, well, it is a huge house. Um, it has, this is actually one of two kitchens. Um, so the house has two kitchens. Yes, eight bathrooms. It's pretty big, and this wow. the view of the kitchen is actually only like half of the kitchen. Okay. There's actually a whole another island. Okay. Our area and um, base cabinets. Right. Deal, so. What 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 were um, what was the customer looking for? Were you doing this for your your company to sell it, or was it did you actually have a consumer who was helping make selections for you? Um. Yeah. We they a lot of it was them. A lot of it was us. We kind of just worked together right. back and forth. Um, is jam-packed with accessories and everything you could ever want. Um, and it's actually a lot different than even what the rendering looks like right. now. We've made more changes. So. Even more changes yep. afterwards. <laughs> and you find you found it easy to make those changes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, 2020 so, is also a lot of that, so <laughs> made it easier for sure. Well, good, good. So what, what were they looking yeah. for? I mean, what was their goal? It's their home. They came to you and said, design my kitchen. What did they want? They, she cooks a lot. They have big gatherings, so something that was easy to maneuver. Right. Have things at your fingertips. Um, you know, just having cooking be the center of the kitchen. So she's cooking, everybody's gathered around, yep. still socializing, yep. whether it's family or it's friends coming over and so forth. Yeah. And so she's pleased with that it meets all of her yeah. needs. She's then? very excited. Oh, that's, that's great. That's we great. Are. So um, in using 2020, you're obviously very good at it. Tell me a few of the things that are your favorite things or your uh, features when you're using 2020. Well, obviously the rendering feature. That is huge. Right. Um, just the customizability of it, I guess. Um, so you can put in the actual backsplash you're using, the actual countertop, um, the colors. Right. You know, each cabinet has their own catalog. So right. using the exact cabinets that are going to be in the facility. Just 
helps them to picture it that much more. So, so are you providing photorealistic renderings most of the time now? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why? We, I, it's, I feel like it's just a huge selling point. A lot of them, they just straight up say, I have trouble visualizing it. Right. I can't see it when it's on the floor plan. So once they see it, it gets me excited and then they can but it's good to hear because I tell people all the time, I'll often have designers tell me, I just do line drawings or such, and I say, that's not what consumers want today. And you're seeing consumers are demanding that you provide that type of rendering. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Have you tried, I just saw the VR flash by. Um, have you tried any of the virtual reality here at the booth? Yes. Do yep. you do it in your showroom? We've, I've showed the other designers about it, but okay. um, I don't know if we've actually used it with a customer yet. Okay. Um, but we're pretty excited about it. Oh, cool. Yes. Well, if you guys are around later today at 2 o'clock, we're actually going to do a session that shows how um, actually today's Kitchen and Bath dealers are using it in their showrooms. I get three examples, three different types of showrooms. One of those is a design build firm, which sounds closely related to what you do, where they actually use the Oculus glasses, um, not just the plastic glasses, but it's, it's really, really interesting um, the success that they've had with it. Yeah. Sounds like something that would work really well in your showroom. Definitely. I think it would. Cool, cool. So, so what's next for you? What's next? Just keep designing kitchens. I don't know. <laughs> Good. Are you having kitchens fun? In the, are you having fun in the industry? Yes, I'm having a blast. I'm learning something new every day. Always looking to learn more. I'm working on studying for my AKBD. Nice. Be certified. So. Nice, nice. When, when are you going to take that test? I don't know. I haven't planned it out yet. Okay. But I have well, no cards. Well, if you do that, study. if you if you take that test, then you only need five more years because you're two years into it. Five more years, and you'd be a CKD, and then you could apply to be a 30 under 30 CKD. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, that's I'm also awesome. Also looking for the 30 under 30. That's been one of my goals. Oh, good, 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 good. Well, I know a little bit about it. We can talk later about it. Yeah. <laughs> so, so that's awesome. So, um, you mentioned you might want to interview me now. <laughs> yeah, so this when we started Morgan. this, she said, she goes, can I just interview you and do that? So that's up to you. <laughs> so, well, um, what have you seen here at the show? You're walking the show. Tell me what's blowing you away. There's been so much, so many gold and fun colors, like just over there. But did you say gold? Bold or gold? Both, actually. Okay, bold there and gold. There is a lot of gold. They're having, like, yeah. brushed gold is big yeah. now. Gold colors. Like, right, right, right. Greens, right. teals. I mean, I love it. It's so pretty. Nice, nice. Now, this isn't your first show. No, my second. I went as a second. student. Right, you went as a student in Las Vegas a couple yes. years ago, right? So what's the difference this year? What do you see trend-wise different now besides bold gold? Is there anything else you see out there? I don't know. I think coming as an actual designer, I, I'm seeing it all different. As right. a student, I didn't really know much. I didn't know it was out there. I was just trying to take it all in. And right. as a designer, you come in with a different perspective. You know what you use, what right. lines you carry, so you pay right. attention to different things. Cool. Um, are you using all the catalogs in 2020, like through the ca uh, uh, content and cloud, the cloud catalog? You are. Yes, the cloud is awesome. Cloud is awesome. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let's stop. We'll cut for a second. Let's do it again. Do you like the cloud? Yes, I do. <laughs> no, you're supposed to say cloud is awesome. The again. cloud is awesome. Yeah, awesome. All right, all right. We can cut that out and use that somewhere else. I like that. Why is the cloud awesome? Um, I don't. Know, I find it, it's sometimes difficult to stay up to date on things. Catalogs are changing, and then you have to download the new one. And on the cloud. They constantly have updates and it's just there for you. It's just pushed so. right to you as soon as you turn it on. That's great. Yeah. Um, I also use them. I do a lot of the rendering classes here and I use the cloud catalogs because the textures in the cloud are so uh, high depth. Um, I don't have to do anything extra to make my drawings look awesome. I just have to grab the right catalog and put the components in and it does it automatically. It saves me a lot of time, so that's fantastic. Yeah. And just one thing I want to mention to you, and I, I don't know if I said this to you over here, I may have already told you, um, but Vanessa, who's also here in the booth, she and I were two of the judges. And when we got your drawing and some of your compatriots' drawings, we looked at those drawings and we were literally texting each other because Vanessa's in Michigan and I'm in Baltimore. We're texting each other about how scary it was that your drawings were so good because we thought we were good and then when we saw what you guys were doing we were like wow we really need to go back and make sure we brush up on everything so I'll teach you something no, awesome <laughs> awesome that's what I wanted to ask you a few questions when we were done so that's great but we de did deconstruct all the drawings and we figured out most of it now so I want I thank you for educating me on yeah, you're welcome. 2020. awesome awesome well I want to thank you again for your submittal um, congratulations Congratulations on winning. Everybody cheer again. Come on, everybody cheer again.
awesome. All right, and I want you to enjoy the rest of the show. So have a great rest of your day. All right, thank you, Kayla. All right, bye.